I was about to ask, does anyone, don't, uh, does anyone not speak Spanish? Or everyone doesn't speak in Spanish? Well, anyway, it's in English. If you want to ask in Spanish, it's okay. If you want to ask in German, it's as well okay. <laughs> in Asturiano, if you want as well. So anything, it's okay. So um, welcome to this talk. I'm going to talk about happiness. I hope you are a happy person. I hope you lot are happy people. You are happy developers and you have happy users. So we are going to talk about that much. And uh, thank you to the uh, to the beer downstairs. I'm really happy today. Uh, so, uh, first question. Um, I'm going to try to be interactive with you, okay? Um, so, first question. Who of you work in a retailer, online site, um, e-commerce, something like that? Who of you don't mind me testing your website right now for a demo? <laughs> <laughs> No, it's just asking for the home, and I'm not going to do anything else. I saw a... No, he wasn't just... Okay. Uh, you, you said you're working on a retailer. Do you mind if I test your... You mind? <laughs> okay. I was... Well, it would be funnier if we work all together. Really? Well, well okay. You and you have a, well, I will, I will use sim for you, <laughs> as usual. So, uh, my name is Almudena Vivanco. Okay. You see, it's a Spanish name. Uh, I work for Telefonica y Masde, R&D. Um, my job actually is sizing services, and right now it's cyber security services. So I don't see much of the user, okay? <laughs> but I love my users, and I want them to have the, the, the best experience. So one, well, I study maths, and another thing that uh, defines me is that I'm a really geek, okay? I love comics. And just to have a thread to follow the, the talk, I'm going to talk about Flash. So, who of you know about Flash? Not Flash Gordon, Flash. Okay, DC Comics. So, you know, Flash is the fastest man alive. Okay? I will ask that, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> and you see that there's another thing, there's another thing that is very interesting from Flash and from DC Comics in general. That there are several flash, there are several speedsters. So each of us will be a, a different speedster today. Uh, we're going to talk how to um, improve the speed of our users. So we will be speedsters. So another, one, another nice thing of, of flash, do you know about multiverse? Yes. Yeah. So yes, you. Uh, how does he switch from one universe to another? Yeah. It's not, the, it's not about the speed, it's manipulate the... The speed force. Yes. Yeah. The speed force is what performance engineers... Yeah. So actually he vibrates in a different um, hertz. <coughs> okay? He vibrates in a different way in, in different multiverse, so he can switch. That means, and it's a bit geek or freak or whatever you want to say, that as speedsters, as a um, <laughs> performance engineer, uh, we have different users and we need to vibrate as a user is going to be, okay? So if I want to satisfy this Korean guy, uh, okay, it's really hard, <laughs> you know? One of the, um, the, the, um, the milestone, the, the, why did I start doing performance? It was because I, was, uh, I used to play Counter-Strike back in the old days, like 20 years ago. And uh, in Spain, we have really huge lag and huge lag spikes. So you have this Swedish guy that got five milliseconds lag, and he was like, pam, pam, and you, ah, I'm gonna shoot, uh, no, not shooting, oh. You see the difference when you play and you have different users and you have different connections, that is a big loss of, of performance. It's the user satisfaction is I wanted just to quit because I couldn't shoot that guy. And he was like just shooting me at me three bullets at the same time. So headshot, ah, I, I couldn't even see him. So what, what we are going to focus, user satisfaction, that is user's happiness. If our user is happy, our stakeholders will be happy, our developers will be happy, everyone will be happy. But how do you measure that? What do we have to measure? That is 
usually the first thing that someone that approaches to performance testing, that is the first thing that they ask. How do I measure that? What do I have to measure? CPU or response time or requests? Well, we are going to answer that. And we are going to how to measure that. And as well, what to monitor just to see if the performance continues. So this is the internet, like, uh, so like five years ago. So there will be more now. So we are not alone. There are third parties. Usually our sites rely on trackers, uh, ad bulks, things like that um, insert HTML or any assets on our sites. And that will increase the time response and the, f and the experience of our users. So what is the... What is what we fear mostly? The latency. We're always like, hmm, how long does it take for this asset, for this image to download? So my user has the perception of my site, what I want to sell to them. Don't fear that, okay? Because latency is in the server side. You don't have to fear that. You have tools for that. We have we have running performance tests in the back end, in the APIs, for so long that this should be solved. Uh, but um, why do we fear the latency and, and, the, and the user perspective? And why we fear the, the experience of the user? Because, well, this is a funny thing. Okay, this is a study. Or as my studies, um, statistics uh, teacher would say, this is statistics and lies. Okay, you can correlate anything. This correlates latency or a stressful situation with a, um, seeing um, a horror movie. So a user, if you are in the metro in Barcelona, um, Plaza Catalunya, I don't know in Madrid if you have these problems with latency or with, with uh, loading times, but if you are in Plaza Catalunya and going to, to Diagonal, you stop having cobertura, you have to stop to having co connection. Network, yeah, thank you. <laughs> uh, you have to uh, stop having network, and you are, I don't know, but uh, you are maybe processing, a, oh, wait, today is Black Friday, so you are maybe processing an Amazon or something, and they stop, and you say, hmm, hmm, what happened? Did I, did it proceed? Didn't it? Hmm, you fear it. You are starting to fear what is happening. So it's like a horror movie. So. What do we have to do here? One thing is that um, we, have a, we have, I told you that uh, we are not going to focus on the back end, we are not going to focus on the latency, we are going to focus on the front end, on the time response, on the user experience. So we have to unlearn what we have, because first thing we have in the top of mind, if I ask you about what do you test or which tool are you going to use if you are testing performance, what would you say? Jmeter? How much, how many of you have tested with JMeter or used JMeter? <laughs> a lot of them, okay. Or Load Runner or something like that, and you're testing APIs there. Now, we are not going to talk about that. You don't need to use a JMeter in order to know the performance of your site. And um, if you're not starting to, if you are always testing the same thing, you get to inertia. Just that this is going fine, and we can put in the front end, we can put whatever we want, we can put images of, of sep, seven megs, and it will be fine for our users, and that's not, that's, that's not true. So, all of us will be a flash. So, Barry West, um, Barry Allen, uh, Wally West, we can, we can be several of them. It's uh, Jenny Speed, and I don't remember the other one, Excess. So, uh, let's aim for a speed. Okay, we want to vibrate in the same speed as our users. So, first thing, I'm gonna do a demo. I'm gonna download this. As none of you gave me a site, I will just use uh, a site I know for sure. So, um, one of the tools that is in the, in the ecosystem is web page test. This tool is free. This tool, you can use it wherever you want, and whenever you want, okay? So I'm going to test infojobs, <coughs> infojobs.net. Uh, one thing that you can do is from wherever you want, I, maybe I use it from, from USA uh, with uh, Chrome, okay? Just, just the, the simplest test I can do. Um, I'm going to run this because it takes a while, so I will go back to my 
presentation to my slides while it's testing, okay? So let's say for speed, we have the tool now. We are going to use web page test, sorry. But we can use as well some other tools. This is site speed IO. And it's, uh, it's in um, Node.js and Google uh, Page Insights that you can just uh, use it for free. Okay, so what we are going to measure, I gave you just a tool, but what are we going to measure? We're going to measure the satisfaction of the user. How we me measure that? And where is the user satisfaction? Um, how many of you um, usually search in the internet from a desktop? Or how much of your time you use the desktop instead of your mobile? You just have to wonder, like five years ago, we were using a desktop a lot, of, or 10 years ago, I'm, I'm really getting old. Um, now I'm using all the time my, lap, uh, my, my tablet or my, or my phone for just searching, or for just one, going on in the internet. So the back end usually is like that. It's like 20% of the time. The device, and I have a Motorola, I don't have an iPhone 6 or 7, or I don't know the number now, or the Samsung 10. I don't have a really huge phone. I have a tiny phone, and it's a really cheap. So my time here will be really high. So 80%, more or less, 75, 80% of the time that our users spend in our sites is in the front end. So why should we improve in the 24% when we can improve in the 76%? We are going to improve here. We are going to test this. And JMeter is not able to test this user experience. Doesn't, it doesn't, um, doesn't, um, doesn't do the JavaScript and it doesn't load many things. So we are going to use another tool, the web page test. Okay? So this in the, in the TCP, we are going to measure from the first byte to the unload, to when the page ends. Okay? So, what is web page test? It just runs the, uh, the request I gave it in the, temp in, the, in the test. In this case, I put infojobs.net. Yes, we'll launch the, the, the home. And it's just um, uh, set up 14 golden rules of the performance, in, in, of the web performance, okay? And it will give you just a note. It's just like going to school and have an exam. It will give you a note. So that's what you fear. You didn't want me to test it because you were fearing the, the notes or the results, okay, the marks. Uh, so well, um, one thing that we need to know, what are the, perform the golden performance rules? Usually, if I ask my business manager or my stakeholder, my product owner, they will, tell, they will ask me one simple thing, one simple question. How long does it take? I say, where, for who? For our users, in, well, I, I work in, I, I, I didn't mention it. I work in Telefonica, did I say it? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yes. Uh, we have users in the middle of, the, of Peru, in, in the Peruvian uh, jungle. Uh, for that guy there, for our guys in London, that they have uh, LTE, for, for who? How, does, how long does it take for who? In our pre-production environment, in our development environment? We have things that we can measure that they are constant, okay? We don't need to always, uh, always answer with a response time. That is really important, OK? It's really important. But we can ask for how many elements, how many requests do we have. That is something that is constant. It's something that we can measure between builds and run those builds every night, every commit, every, whenever you want. That's a continuous performance integration, OK? So we can measure that, and that is fixed. One other thing that we need to know for our, for our users is if they run with cache or without. So the first view, we'll, we will have always to run the test several times because we need to know if the first time they, they run the page and the second time they enter. Another thing that we need to, to yeah, con cache or without, is that time is relative. That is where they are running the test. They are running from a mobile, from a tablet, uh, from a connection that is really poor, um, a modem, you know, depending on the connection, the type of user, the kind of user, as well the psychology of the user. Because if you are, I, I come from, from the north of Spain, from a really little um, uh, a village. Uh, we have no network, more or less, 
only the cows have network. Uh, so if I'm at home with my mother and, and I was like, I don't know, buying something on Amazon, I don't care if it takes like 10 minutes to end the transaction because I'm used to it. But if I'm in Barcelona and I'm in my, in my, my house and I know that I have a really good connection, thanks God, Telefonica pays for that, um, I don't expect it to take more than five seconds. How, I, I would get net nervous if it takes more, if it takes longer. So time is relative. And now it's another question, a geek question. I should do a, a contest or something. Uh, you know who wins this race? And why, no? Superman? If I say that, um, this is Barry Allen. Uh, if Flash is the, man, the fastest man alive, this has a trick. Is that Superman is not a man, it's not human. It's an alien. <laughs> so if we compare ourselves to a Japanese network, they are aliens. <laughs> they are aliens, OK? So time is relative. Depends on where you are. Depends on the localization. It depends on the browser. It depends on your connection. It depends in the number of tests you're going to execute, because the cache is there, <laughs> OK? And uh, OK, this is in Spanish. I didn't notice. Sorry. <laughs> Perdón. Uh, sorry. So I'm going to tell that always execute a, and run a number, um, odd number of, of tests. Uh, that's because of the mean, median, mediana, la median. Uh, because the median in a number of, um, in par, if you have like odd tests, uh, it will be always one true of the, of the samples. Okay? It's just mathematics, it's nothing else. So cache, uh, document complete versus load. Um, you need to know you're in your site, you want to sell, uh, I don't know, Alien Express. Uh, well, no, not that. Desigual, okay? So you're in Desigual, you're working for Desigual, you want to sell, sell clothes. And you have advertisements of, I don't know, of, uh, of another places, or you have advertisement over there that, that sells something that you aren't selling. So what is important for you? to load your content or to load the content of others, even that this adds and give revenue. Important is that you serve your content, right? So that's document complete versus unload. You let the other thing just, hey, if they die, unload, I don't care. Um, well, you can ignore the SSL, you can capture TCP dump. If you are doing troubleshooting with web page test, you can capture the Chrome DevTools, you can capture a TCP dump, uh, you can capture several things that helps you in order to know what is failing. <laughs> um, you can do custom headers. What, this is what are we going to measure. Sorry, guys. Size matters in this case. I'm not going to say of others, but in this case, size matters. Uh, this is Atom. Yeah. Uh, so, no, this is Ant-Man. Oh, I put something from Marvel <laughs> in DC Comics. Stanley is going to kill me. Lo siento, Stanley. Uh, so, uh, size matters. Why it matters? Because we have a connection. So if we are downloading like in 200 megs per second and we have an image of 10 megs, it will just download slowly, right? So if you have a huge page with a thousand of, of assets of requests uh, where the, the, the bytes are huge, you will have a slow, and, and you have a slow connection, the performance, the, the experience of your user um, will be really poor because you are downloading things that he doesn't need. It's, uh, do you remember, I don't know if uh, there are people here from my age, uh, do you remember GeoCities? Yeah. <laughs> right, now you get <laughs> what I meant, right? Uh, so you load sheet and sheet and it's getting bigger, right? So you don't need that. You have to, um, your content should be prioritized over another content. Uh, if I'm um, a newspaper, my news should be prioritized rather than advertisements, rather than trackers, rather than content that is not actually a newspaper. Even though our news doesn't give revenue and the advertisements give revenue. Okay, so that's the performance engineer job to fight the business manager <laughs> or marketing guy saying that you have to prioritize your content. 
We need the advertisements, okay? Uh, that's a usual conversation between us. Um, so this is what it happens. That if you have a, a really slow connection and you have a real uh, size, you will have to optimize the size of your assets, of your requests. Okay, so as well, the number of requests, that is constant. So um, if you have like one thing that uh, front-end developers that are not that good usually does is just to ask for everything. They put in the CSS and they just download everything. Oh, because maybe it needs it in the three pages ahead. But it, it, he doesn't need it now. Why do you download that? Maybe he doesn't go there. No, but it's better. But it's a bit that got only like 5% of abuse. Why do you go there? So number of requests is really, really something that you need to optimize. Why? Because actually it's a connection and the browser will just um, conquer and several threads in order to download those assets. So you need to optimize that to have um, all, you, you cannot have gaps between your, your requests, okay? So you cannot have uh, something that is blocking your download from another asset upstairs uh, just before you. Uh, so the content breakdown as well by domain, because actually if you have, uh, there's a common <coughs> usage for performance that uh, you shared your domains. So in order to have uh, several domains for your, for your images, if you go, for instance, to, to El País, you will see that you have EPM1 uh, elpaís.com, uh, EPM2 elpaís.com, so you have shards of your images. That's just to, to have a better distribution of your content. That's your sites, but if you have several domains, you will have to, one, to resolve the name, that's internet. You, you go there, you say hello, well, AC key, think, who are you? Okay, I'm pa, 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 domain. You will have maybe it's an HTTPS, not maybe it's 80% or more, it's now in HTTPS, so it will have to resolve the DNS, the SSL, SSL handshake. I'm hello, certificate. <laughs> so that for each of the domains. So just imagine if you have like, like this, like 20 domains in your site. The user, well, the browser of the user, so the user, will have to resolve, do handshake for each of the domains. So it, it costs a lot, okay? One of the things that involves having several domains in our sites as well is that you have the risk to have a SPOF, that is single point of failure. Maybe, and I see it before, um, you have a third party that, ser that serves the advertisements, so the images, okay? We have someone that uh, serves them. What happens if, it, if the connection to that site drops? You have no connection. You have a timeout. Okay, another question for you. What is the difference between a timeout and a not found, performance-wise? A timeout always ends. And a not found? Yeah, yeah, you were mistaken there. The found is resolved at a given time, no? Actually, a not found is resolving instantly. It's just super fast, <laughs> okay? And a timeout is 60 seconds, 100, depends on the load balancer usually. So it can break your site. Usually when you have, when you see a page, a newspaper, it happens usually that you have an advertisement down there and uh, you see the, the internet is, is just uh, spinning all the time. It's downloading something that is not responding. Maybe it blocks something of your news and in case it's, it's, it gets uh, white, the page. It's the famous white page <laughs> for the user that is expecting something that it doesn't come. That's a single point of failure. When you have several of these third parties in your site, you should run these tests. And this is something that you can do with web page tests. And the same with the block. If you have a 403 or a 404, a not found or a not authorized, you should prevent your site of not loading. And you have to measure that, okay? You have to, to measure that kind of things. Uh, this is InfoJobs like, uh, no, this is InfoJobs? No, this is something else. But uh, no, this is Niji actually. This is one of my latest projects. 
Uh, this was happening when I was just blocking uh, the image shard. It wasn't loading any image, and it was taking like four seconds because the timeout of the images it was at six, so it was loading nothing. It was just blocking. It was asking and blocking everything. So the visual progress it was like okay, there's nothing. The, the, the impact in the user experience will be really bad. It will see a white page for four seconds there. That's not something good. But the other thing is that you have 404, a lot of errors. My mean time is fine because it's responding almost immediately. <laughs> you said, oh, it's fine, I have all. <laughs> but you have a lot of errors, okay? How you measure that? How you measure that you don't have errors? You don't have high response times, and um, your user is satisfied. Usually, this is something that the performance engineers just, uh, we were gathering there like a week, uh, like some witch council or something like that, and we said, ah, oh, we need maths to solve our, solve our problems. Let's do an index. If you have worked with a load runner or with a RAUM, APM, like Rooksit or Soasta, one of things, you will know this updex. Well, maybe you have noticed it, it's there, but no one pay, pays much attention to it, only if you are a performance engineer, right? So usually it's that you have an accept, um, acceptable response time, that is you alone doing your test in an environment, control environment. They say, okay, my product owner says that if I'm doing this sub request, SAP request, it will take 10 minutes to download this report. And it's okay for him, okay, it's acceptable. It's an acceptable response time. Maybe not for a user in, in AliExpress, but for a, 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 for a, a report a generator, is okay. So it will be satisfied if that response time is below that, that mark. It will be tolerating if it's like four times that. If it takes more than 40 minutes to download a report, I'm sure someone will call at your door saying this is taking too long because this guy is go going to have a coffee, a coffee break while downloading that report. Okay, I can have a coffee as well. And if it's bigger than four times the, the acceptable time, it's just uh, your business is going to break, okay? So Updex just tests that and just control that index, the satisfaction of your user. And be, why? Why we have that? Because maybe usually when we are doing our tests, we are in our environment alone, isolated. Oh, this is nice, everything works fine. It's my, oh, it, it, it's the usual, it's a, Usual sentence, right? It works in my PC. Because we are going with this. And we have this woman, my mom, in the north of Asturias, with this, okay? I think that, yeah, we have a still a fiesta from the 80s. More or less, it's a scooby. Uh, so you need to measure the satisfaction of those users as well. So you have to do something like optimizing or just control, depending on the Depending on your connection, you have to load some assets or another assets. Because afterwards in Prot, you have different, you have the guy from the jungle in Peru, uh, the guy from Sao Paulo in Brazil, um, you have someone in Spain and in UK and several in the world, and you, are, and, and you have a ticket from someone in Singapore saying, your web doesn't go in Singapore, I cannot see. I, am, I remember a ticket from this summer that it was a guy from, La in, um, from Spain that he went on vacation on Nepal and he opened a ticket saying that um, our service wasn't working from La India. And say, why are you working on your holidays from La India, from Nepal? I don't know if my problem is me, <laughs> but you have a problem, <laughs> okay? <laughs> So one of the most, uh, well, one of the things that we know for sure is that the time for the first byte is really important. That is the server time, okay? So this is when, how long does it take from the request, you send the request from the browser, it goes to the server, the server just gives a response and just goes back to the user. That's the first byte, okay? So what we do need for that? Persistent connection, to have a DNS properly set up, um, using um, CSS in the, in the correct way, that's just 
downloads, those are sets that are really important that always um, improve the experience of the user, avoiding that wait, white page at the start of the rendering, okay? Um, how do we see it in the web-based test? And I will show at the end, if I have time, I will show you the test that I run. Uh, we will see that we have, what, what I said, this is a chart from El País, this is the chart of the uh, resources, okay? Images, resources, CSS, and we can see that they do what I said, the DNS lookup, the request, it starts the initial connection, the, the time to first byte. You, have, you see here that there's a huge, huge, huge difference. So they connect perfectly, they connect, but they send the first byte in the, well, they send the first byte in the 46 milliseconds, but they start rendering like in 1.5 seconds. It's like, what? <laughs> Why are you doing so? Okay, so there's a problem there that they're downloading things that they shouldn't. So w how do we analyze this waterfall? So you see how much is the, the, the size that you're downloading, the HTML, the asset, the resource, the CSS, whatever. When does it start to render? Uh, how many connections or sockets are opened against a given domain or a given asset? So because maybe that is causing you to block to block your um, JavaScript from, do from downloading another asset or whatever you want, okay? Uh, if it's not Ajax, okay? You can, you can do some several multi-threading and these kind of things, but if you are starting just uh, developing a front end, maybe you, you are causing those, those things just to block the, um, the JavaScript, okay? Things like we can custom <coughs> metrics. Maybe we, we have a page that we have five frames, hopefully not. Uh, maybe we have uh, different viewports. There are some custom metrics that we can measure, okay? Things that we cannot do with uh, web page tests, and that's f to remind me. We cannot do timers or Ajax requests. That's um, well, something. And you cannot measure the, the sites that are self-content, like a Slack and this kind of, um, of new, those aren't still uh, doable with web-based tests. And why are we measuring the um, why are we measuring the user satisfaction from the device or from the desktop or from the computer from the browser side? Because for that you don't need to invest in hardware or in clouds or in whatever. You don't need to invest there. You don't need to invest in, in iron. Okay, you're not selling there. You just need to improve your way of developing how to measure that, how to test it, and, and know which problems you have, what to optimize, what to minify, all these kind of things. Like we have tests and um, we have tools to do it. So this is a comparison, comparison of uh, four newspapers, okay? And I have another video that shows you. This is a test result from web-based test. This is something that um, allows you to go to your stakeholder and say, we need to invest in performance. We need to do a hardening and we need to optimize our code in the front end, just to avoid that our competence goes much faster than us. So that's something that helps you to sell your product, to, to sell your performance skills. I need performance. We need a performance tester. We are really a few, few of us, so it's good. So let's go back to the demo. How long, uh, quanto tengo? Uh, 15 minutes. 15, okay, it's fine. So I can show you the, I'm gonna drop this. I hope you listen to me. If you don't listen, just uh, raise your hands, okay? It's demo time. It's como hammer time, demo time. Vamos a ver, primero el video. So uh, let's do the video first. Okay, this is my good thing. I don't have anything there. So as I told you, the um, web page test allowed you to that um, because the Wi-Fi was not working fine, so I just downloaded the video. Uh, so I do a comparison between La Vanguardia and El País. It's done a couple of, well, before lunch, okay? So this is in order just to show the experience of our users. So what do we see here? First, that the first byte in La Vanguardia goes really fast, okay? It's faster than El País. But we have on the load at the end, the end of the page takes way more, well, way more than the El País. So 
Um, who thinks that is better the experience for the user in La Vanguardia rather than El País? So I suppose the other ones say that it's better in El País than in La Vanguardia. So you prefer your user having white page during a couple of seconds? I will put it again. So <laughs> just know <laughs> because I was expecting everyone to say La Vanguardia is better. See that? Uh, well, maybe some some people doesn't like that it just goes like this, just rendering. Well, you just go to the front end to the UX and say, what do you think is better? You're just a performance, okay? You're a performance engineer. You say, this is faster. But this one got the first byte faster. Which is better for you, for your users? That you that you know your user. Um, so let's see the test that I run at the start. So you see I run like three times. Uh, oh. Green, green, green. Bueno, a ver. <laughs> Info <your> jobs rocks. <laughs> we know that it was working. Um, so I'm going to sit. Sorry, but I, when I work, I need to sit. Um, really, no one else wants to have their site test. You see, it's really fast. No? Nadie se atreve? Challenge accepted. Yes, you know, como la testeo, así. Álvaro Trigo. Espera, espera. Es que esto va. ¿Va cómo va? Mira, es un valiente. ¡Vamos! Álvaro Trigo, dos com. Barra. Oh, una barra. Full. Full. Me la estás, me la estás ya aquí. P, Full page. Ah, vale. Vale, 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 vale. Foot page mayúscula. ¿Desde dónde? So, from where? Wherever you want. Wherever you want. Singapore. <laughs> Nepal. <laughs> uh, mobile or desktop? Uh, desktop. Okay, desktop. <laughs> Motorola. <laughs> South America, venga, va. Uh, no, va, let's, let's, let's do something easy. Let's, we can go to La Rioja. Okay, La Rioja is fine for you, ¿no? Yeah. I don't know the... Actually, nah, La Rioja got a good correction, right? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe Escaray doesn't have that one, but uh, it's fine. So you see that um, we're going to run a simple test, okay? If you want more advanced tools of that, you can come to my workshops. <laughs> and I explain everything from web-based tests. Just uh, promoting myself. Uh, so Chrome. But I expect to have some problems, okay? So I put the capture uh, Chrome Dev Tools so I can see if there's a problem or something. So I can just debug a bit. <coughs> Not gonna do anything else. Okay, so I'm just gonna run it. Start test. It's that simple. I just have to wait now. So I will show you the InfoJobs results. So as I said, uh, the 14, uh, 14 golden rules of web performance from Steve Souders. It was the, it's the, the guy that started all this in performance, web performance engineering, this kind of things of testing. And he wrote 14 rules, golden rules. Um, so you can see the details here. Uh, InfoJobs just uh, stepped the CDN. It's, uh, the rest is, is fine. We can see as well the results like in a, in a, in a timeline. Uh, we can see the trace that I was like what I said before. Um, here, view. So we can see if there's a problem there, like uh, <laughs> like uh, latency or what happened in the rendering. Uh, we have the flame chart, okay, just, uh, just to know what happened there in that device because I was running it from my device. Uh, we can see the timeline, of course. Well, ah, mierda, perdón. Uh, so <laughs> I, I, my perdón is faster than the other thing. Um, so we can see the elements. Okay, if it's it's the console. Okay, it's not. Well, it's a it's a Wi-Fi that should be here. The timeline, the network of of, uh, of the crow. Okay, so okay. it's doing something strange. Okay, but uh, you could see something there. Actually, it's here. It's my, it's me that is making some. The, the bug is between, well, there's a blackboard and the, it was me. It was not the page. So you have here the network and you see all the resources. 
um, you should see all the resources and the performance um, and what it's doing, okay? It's the Chroma Dev tools that you can use usually. The GPU <laughs> process, the renderer, what it's doing, okay? We can see that in the other test. Um, of course, we can see <coughs> the waterfall itself and each of the requests. For example, I see here, actually there is no block. You see here that there's a JS, a downloader, that I don't know what it is, a component, uh, that is a, a bit bigger than the rest, but it's not blocking anything else. So it's good, okay? Another one, you see that everything is fine here. There's nothing that, you see, that there's, uh, uh, this is going to Amazon. It takes, uh, no, it doesn't take, it, the, the, the connection doesn't take that much. Uh, the content that load is in uh, half a second, so it's fine. Ah, I will, I will end this. Um, something that you can use as well for, for this that is really interesting is that you have something more visual that is watch the video that we saw before or just film a strip, yeah, yeah film, just to see how it's loading, right? And you can check what is loading in, in each of the, of the seconds that you are rendering. Um, let's see if Alvaro, yeah, it done, it's done. Oh, it takes a lot. <laughs> so this is, that is the, the main results, is that the first time, the first view without cache, it takes like 1.5, almost 1.6 seconds to download. And the second one that you have cache there, it's like uh, 0 0.5 seconds, so it's fine. It's almost in, into complete to full load, I don't know what <coughs> do you have after the unload, actually. Maybe we can see it in the film strip. What do you have? Full page, full page. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> it's really funny. Okay, you can see that this is the after unload. This takes like uh, half a second <laughs> just to unload this one. Manifest JSON is at the end of the, do of the load and it takes half a second. So the, the before the user will have the experience that the, there's a, something that's spinning there, waiting for a resource after he has all the content loaded. So he has a full view and something is there spinning to download something that he won't see, that is the manifest. And I don't think that you are going to show him the manifest. So I don't know if that the experience of the user, usually they don't notice there's something spinning there, but that is CPU of your, of your device. Okay, so maybe if you have m many of those assets, uh, it will always consume battery from your device, basically. <laughs> well, for, it's, it's really good, well done. Well done. <laughs> As well, uh, the first byte, you see that it was like, uh, it, was, it said that it was not that good, actually. Let's see if uh, you have a redirect. <coughs> you have, the first thing that you do is a redirect <laughs> in your page. Uh, maybe HTTPS? Yeah, yeah. Right, yeah, you're right. Because I was asking for the HTTP. So it's doing a redirect. So the next one is yeah, the HTTPS one. And it takes like, what are you asking there? Uh, it's like half, millisec uh, half a second there. Just to ask, to go to the server, ask for the response, ask the CSS. What do you have in your CSS? <coughs> Not much? Something that it's like penalizing you there. <laughs> the Wi-Fi, maybe, maybe it's that. No, not usually. <laughs> maybe you have to run several <coughs> tests to in order to know that. So you see, actually, the request here. Okay, this is what you, what I ask, and this is what um, it responds, and the object that it's downloaded actually not available because I didn't I didn't put it on the options. But you can go one by one of those and see where do you have the problem, right? <coughs> Actually, in this case, in your case, it only says that it's only the first byte, that it takes, it's taking like half, it's like taking like 25% of the time of your fully downloaded, because it was, it's, was two seconds to fully download, and it was taking like half a second just to connect. So something is wrong there. So you can run and analyze. So now it's uh, questions time. Um, oh, I, I can go there, no worries. Don't worry. Vale? Sí, bueno. Era para pasearme. So, any questions? Do you have? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Do you have any questions or something? Thanks, Alvaro, for. 
for the demo? Any questions? No? You can catch me with a coffee. If there's a coffee near, I will be close to it, most likely. So thanks for coming. I hope it's useful for you.